Hey YouTube, Mason what are on here. Today I'll be showing you how to set up a baby leopard gecko tank. Alright, first off, get a 10 gallon tank, or better, or bigger. 10 gallon, I like to say, 10 gallons, 2 leopard geckos, okay? So, you got that. And then, substrate, reptile carpet, or paper towels are your best bet. So, let's put them in there. I like to double my paper towels up simply because water sometimes makes it tear apart really easily. Alright, so there's your substrate. And next is you'll need uh, some calcium and a calcium dish or reptile vitamins. And I've already got mine in the dish, so there we go. A water bowl with water. Tap water is not very good, but you, I guess you could use it. And then you'll need a dry hide. I use this little wood hide right here. Alright, you'll need a wet hide. It could be anything. Just put some moss in there and spray it every day with the water. And I'll put it right here. And that's basically all you need. Other than uh, crickets or mealworms or waxworms, whatever kind of food you use. And you'll need a daytime bulb for 12 hours in the day and a red or purple nighttime bulb for 12 or 8 hours in the night. And uh, I like to add a couple of extra little decorations and hides. So there's a cutout pick cup with green tape to make it look better. And I use this large plant suction cup on the back so I can stick it anywhere. Alright, and All right, there's that. And uh, there's just a little bit of extra space, so I'll go ahead and add this plant here. It is fake, but still is pretty cool. Alright, so there's that. And then uh, we've got two hides over here. And then um, you'll, of course, need a screen lid. So let me get that. Well, I'll put that on in a minute. And now to add your geckos. Hold on one second. Alright. This is Tundra. He is, I think it's a female. You can't tell yet. She is a uh, Max Snow Albino. So, I'll put her in here. And I'll get my other one. And this right here is Sunny. I have no clue what morph or what gender it is yet. So I'll have to wait till he gets bigger. But you got a nice pattern and a little spot on him. Alright, so now I'll put him in here. He's a beautiful little guy. Alright, now I'm going to get their food.
room. Sorry, I'm almost completely out of crickets. Alright, there we go. I feed my little, little, little leopard geckos miniature crickets. And you can buy them for like 10 or 12 cents at PetSmart. Here's my little guys. Right here. They're pretty awesome. I hope they'll be good friends whenever they grow up. Alright, and hold on one more second. I'm going to get a couple more crickets. Uh, most of them are dead. There's a few in there. I'll be getting some more crickets soon, so don't have to worry about that. But overall, this setup and everything cost me about, let's say, I don't know, maybe $30, $35. Because you can use regular homemade stuff. You can, like, I just got this little plant here uh, out of my basement and just make sure you clean it off with warm water and it'll be good paper towels don't cost you much little deli cups and uh... some green tape and a chopped up cup it's pretty good and so that eliminates most that, that takes out about twenty dollars when this whole setup would cost you about fifty dollars it takes it costs about thirty dollars now so it's really easy and i got both of my lizards uh for thirty dollars each at repticon 2013 in atlanta and uh i will post the breeder um in the description because they have really good prices so yeah